Hi, everybody. So I am Beth Newberry. I am here today with Patty Avin. Um, she is lucky to be in Florida, and I'm so jealous that she's sitting there with her ceiling fan on, looking warm while I look out at the snow. <laughs> so um, Patty and I met several years ago, and um, she has been a wonderful resource to me in so many ways as I've built my Pure Haven business. Um, she's been a tremendous cheerleader and a wonderful customer for years and years and years. She um, always buys baby sets for anybody who's having a baby. She loves the skincare products. Um, and she hosted a party for me the other day. And I kept teasing her and saying, Patty, you know, you really need to just sign on. And she did um, for the discount. <laughs> and that's awesome. So I always tell people, wholesale buyers, if you're buying enough that it makes sense for you to become a consultant, do it. Why not take advantage of that? So that's exactly what Patty did. And I am so thrilled to have her on my team because now she's in my consultant group. And I know that she is a huge supporter of women entrepreneurs, and she's going to be such a support to the other women on my team. And that's not to say that men can't join the team, but mostly right now we have women. I'd love to see some men join too. But um, so she is going to be a fantastic resource and supporter and cheerleader for them. And I'm so happy to have her there. So welcome, Patty, and thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Beth. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. I love the Pure Haven products, as you know. Um, we go back many years. Uh, you and I met actually at networking because I had a small business in Rhode Island and we both belong to the same networking groups. And, mm -hmm. you know, you would stand up and do your 60 second and I would say, oh, another, another product, another skincare, another this. And I never took advantage of it. I really didn't until um, you said something. I went to one of your parties just to support you as I had hoped you would support me in my small business. And uh, I really had no intentions. I figured I'd buy something just to support you. But you gave an amazing presentation. And in that presentation, you sort of brought back an old, old, like a 40-year-old memory for me. And it really struck me. You said um, at the time during your presentation that we're all so concerned about what we put in our bodies as far as what we eat now. It's like a whole big thing. You'd have to eat healthy and organic but we're not as concerned about what we put on our bodies. And I went doing, and I remembered like 40 years ago, because my children are 46 and 44. So let's say 35 years ago, both kids came home with a note from school that there was head lice in the school and we should contact our doctors and make sure that, and, you know, and get some kind of uh, shampoo or something, but to be treated to make sure that they don't have head lice. And I freaked out as a mom, of course, as a young mom. Now I have, you know, new towels up for everybody. You're not allowed to put down <laughs> things. And I called the pediatrician immediately and he gave me a, prescri a prescription for what was called, and it's probably still on the market, Quell shampoo. And it's spelled Q-W-E-L-L, -L, Quell shampoo. And so I go to the pharmacy immediately to pick it up because he called it in and they gave me like one ounce, like this much. And the, and the, and the um, pharmacist says, just share it between both kids. So of course it's not soap. And I put it in both kids' heads and, I'm, and there's no suds or anything. So I of course think, well, this isn't working. It's not sudsing, it's not doing anything. So I called the doctor and I said, could you give me just a little bit more? Cause I just got to give it a second kind of thing here to make sure that I got all those bugs out. And the doctor says, no, he said, what do you mean no? He said, not unless you wanna give your kids brain damage. Mm -hmm. I said, what are you talking about? He says that quell is so toxic that it will soak into the scalp and could cause brain damage. And of course I didn't do it and all the eggs were clean. But I had forgotten about that completely until you made that comment at, at the party that we're not as concerned about what we put on our body. Right. So I have to say that that was the one thing that moved me over to Pure Haven. Yeah. And little by little, I started reading the labels of all of my stuff. Mm -hmm. And when I used it up, because I'm real cheap, I wasn't about to throw anything away. But when I used it up, I would replace it with a Pure Haven product. Yeah. 
And so that was about nine years ago, Beth. I don't know if you know that it's that long, about nine years That's ago. That's crazy. I can't so, believe it's been that long. And so now it's, you know, that's the Pure Haven is the only product I really mm -hmm. use in the house unless I do a, you know, make it myself kind of vinegar and water to clean the mirrors and stuff. But okay. all of my skincare, all, most of my household cleaners and everything have been uh, over to Pure Haven. Yep. And you love the laundry detergent. I love the laundry detergent. I love that it doesn't make my clothes smell funky. Right. You know, I mean, I'd rather have no smell than have no odor than have a funky kind of chemical. Right, kind of, right. Or a masking kind of really sweet kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I love it. I mean, I love the um, the laundry detergent. I love the um, the skincare line. I'm now yes. using the comfort oil on my husband every night on his back, on his hip, because mm. he's been complaining that it hurts. So we're going to give it a week or so, and hopefully he'll start feeling better. Yeah. But I've been using it, and my I don't I haven't complained about my plant, plantar fasciitis for for over a week since I've been using it, and it didn't even dawn on me until somebody said, "How's your plantar?" Oh, by the way, it doesn't hurt me anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Um, so the other um, story that I wanted to ask you about, because I know another one of your favorites, I remember um, I remember talking to you about two things that you needed. Um, I remember you telling me that your grandson, who is a wonderful athlete, um, started having problems with acne as teenagers well you know the hormones kick in and that happens and you said is there anything you can do for this um and I have two boys <laughs> so I know what getting teenage boys to wash their faces like and so whenever I have a mom or a grandma of a teenage boy I always recommend hands on the go which sounds crazy because it was designed to be a non-toxic hand sanitizer before we were sort of everybody had hand sanitizer everywhere um it was supposed to be if you couldn't wash your hands use this because it doesn't have all the well alcohol and everything in right it. i don't want to want to interrupt you but the other sure. thing is we use that my other grandson has very severe eczema mm. to the point where his hands were always cut up and it was so pathetic to watch. He couldn't use soap. He used to scream because it burned his open wounds. He yeah. couldn't take a bath. Um, we used to try everything that we could to clean him. And hands on the go was great for him because it doesn't have alcohol in it. So I used to keep it uh, in my car. I gave my daughter a whole bunch because I bought the big one and then I bought little sample. I things. remember, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but the best part about the hands on the go, and I think that you were gonna go to this place too, yes was that uh, four years ago, when my sister was diagnosed with metastatic lung cancer and she went underwent chemotherapy and radiation. And of course the radiation was on her chest and in her back, but on her chest. And she had these terrible burns on her chest from the radiation. And she was in Florida, I was in Rhode Island at the time. And when I would speak with her, she would complain about the redness and the burning of the radiation. So I mentioned something to you about that as well. And the hands on the go, the miracle hands on the go mixed with the mask powder. Right. From the mask, yeah. you make a paste, you put that on and it supposedly gets rid of the burns. Mm -hmm. So I bought some more and I shipped it off to my sister and I said, try it. Like, what do you have to lose? Exactly. And three or four days later, she says, Patty, this is amazing. It got rid of all the redness and it wasn't burning as much. So then every time I met somebody who was talking about a family member or a friend who was going through radiogen, oh, you have to do this, you have to do that. And I would give little sample bottles out to everybody so that they could use it. So I, I love the fact that Pure Haven's products work for other things as well. Right. Um, and I love to learn all every product and what else it can do. Yeah. Right, right. And we have we do not have the the clay mask anywhere. And I will tell you why. And actually, let me see if I have. Did I bring it upstairs downstairs? No, I do have it here. And so we still have the purifying charcoal mask, which is not the 
the powdered mask, but you can mix this with the hands on the go and get the same results because the magic ingredient in the mask that was helping with that was kale and clay. So our purifying charcoal mask still has kale and clay in it. The reason that they started pre-mixing it and putting it in a tube like this is because one time our owner and CEO who had never done a face mask before was trying to mix the mask in his hand with water and he ended up it was like it was like a comedy it was hysterical watching him try to put on the mask and there were all these consultants he was doing it on Facebook live in a hotel room oh, there were all these consultants typing no it's too thick it's too thick you have to thin it out more and he said why do we do this? <laughs> why is it not all pre-mixed? So that is the reason. If you're ever wondering why it is now pre-mixed, it's because our CEO tried to do a mask and he couldn't he, figure it out. <laughs> it looked like he had a mud pie on his face. It was hysterical. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's the reason for that. But um, yeah, thank you for sharing. And tell us about your grandson and the acne and how the hands on the go worked. So the hands on the go worked fine. I gave him a nice big thing and he called me and he told me that it's great. And now my granddaughter just turned 14 and she's starting to, you know, she zooms with me and she, um, FaceTimes me and she says, look at my zit, look at my zit. I said, is, does your brother have any of the hands on? No, he used it all up. So I'm going to get a new one and I'm going to ship it off to Connecticut so that she has it. Awesome. We also have the blemish stick for that. So she may yes. like that more with the little one here, one there. But when it's full blown acne and it's a teenage boy, I'm always like, just do the squirt of hands on the go all over the face and that'll that'll help keep it at bay. Any other favorites that you can't help but share about? The laundry detergent for sure. Um, as we said, I love the boo-boo stick. Mm. Oh my God. So I was in a store buying something and when the uh, cashier was packing everything up for me, she got a, a paper cut and she, oh, oh, I said, wait, wait, wait. And I went to my pocketbook and she said, here, use this. It's a boo-boo stick. She says, a what? I said, a boo-boo stick. Here, here, here. So, so what happened was I eventually, what I did was I gave it to her because once she used it on her skin, I didn't want to use it again yeah. on mine, but whatever. So I gave it to her and she said, wow, within minutes, like the sting went away. Right. The sting went away. So I love the boo-boo stick. Um, uh, what else? Oh, I love the, um, the new booster for the beauty booster. Beauty this booster, girl. yes. So I use it with the night cream and I put a little of the booster in there and I use that. And then in the morning I use the, uh, the day cream and the under eye stuff. I love it all. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the one thing I don't like. Oh, I want, you know what I wanted to ask you, what flavor is the kid's toothpaste? The kid's toothpaste is citrus. Okay. So I might like that a little better because I don't might. like the Or the charcoal food. toothpaste. The only problem with the charcoal toothpaste and I love the charcoal toothpaste, but I know it, it sounds awful, but it tastes really good. You might like the taste of it a lot and it's white oh, sure. and it's really good for your gums too. So, um, it's super, it's great for sensitive gums and all that. So, um, the one thing I hate about the charcoal toothpaste is actually not the charcoal toothpaste. It's that as soon as I spit it in the sink, because it's, you know, it's charcoal. So it's yeah. black and you're spitting it out in your sink and your sink is like turning black. And so I feel like I'm constantly like cleaning out the sink in the mirror. Does it, is does it come out, does it come out of the tube black? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that must, that's and great. it's black when you're brushing and, but it's citrusy and it tastes really good. Okay. I'll try it. All right. Cause I don't like the cloves table flavor of the other give one. The, give the charcoal one a shot. I think you'll really like it. People are really happy with it. So Thanks. yeah, some, some people just don't like that taste of clove in that regular toothpaste. So, right, right, right. But even the deodorant I use now that I use the non the one without the, the non -baking um, soda, yeah. non baking soda one, that one's, I love it. It's great. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, there haven't been any products that I've tried so far, so far that I really hate that I wouldn't recommend. Um, most of them I absolutely love and I'm looking forward to trying some new ones now too. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much, Patty. I appreciate thank you, you um, coming on and sharing a little bit. And I think those, your, your stories are really going to help some people um, okay. with switching over. So thank you for sharing. Okay. Thank you, Beth. Take